No. There's no comparison to winning 2001 playoffs or winning Allen Iverson in the lottery. Yeah! I remember I was up all over. I was high fiving the losers. It's something about professional sports, the reality of the sporting endeavor, that it's not fake. It's right then and there. Unfortunately, I took every loss personal. I'll tell you, it was fun. You know, people have 15 minutes of fame. I had way more than that because I could walk down the street and a bus would stop and I would just run up in the bus and wave to everyone and then run back out. Look it, they replaced President Clinton's picture at Geno Stakes above the window with mine. That was the ultimate. The most interesting part about helping people to find commonality is that you must care about them. I cared about Alan Iverson, I cared about Larry Brown, and most importantly, I cared about the Sixers franchise. Nothing was gonna deter from that. I mean, it's just an amazing that these two individuals, Alan Iverson and Larry Brown, from two different worlds, two different hoods, and they really took us together. And it was a soap opera. There was some drama involved, but with any family there's drama. But I truly believe they respect each other, and there was seeds of love for each other. Yes, did Alan cause Larry to hair to turn grayer and my hair? I used to be a redhead, but that was just Bubba. If he wasn't like that, he wouldn't have been as fabulous as he was on the court. I left the Sixers in 2001 because I assumed or I thought I was promised by one of the partners to head over the Flyers, the arenas, Comcast Sportsnet. The NBA, I love it, but I need it more. And there's so much more to do in life. I just didn't want to run the Sixers. That was great, but you know, we went from here to there and I wanted to do more. Well, since I left the Sixers in 2001, I did a little TV and then I opened up a pirate museum in Key West, which I've since moved to St. Augustine, St. Augustine Pirate and Treasure Museum, the greatest museum in the world, truly in the world. If you're going to do something, make it the best. I even talked to Secretary of State in Florida into loaning me their treasures that they have in a vault. I go diving and I'm after some golden shipwrecks myself, but this was already found treasure. So the Pirate Museum in St. Augustine, and then we have uh, six, seven bar restaurants in Key West and three in St. Augustine. Personally, I have a really big windshield in my life. Big futures, big opportunities, influences. I have a small rear view mirror. And that's where I look back. And when you look back at your experiences and memories, obviously those five years with the Sixers were fabulous. Do I miss them? No. I can go back and visit them anytime. But it's the front windshield going forward. Every day I wake up, wonder what the world has waiting for me today.